Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our ESL time. Don't forget, apaguen el español, turn on English. Well boys and girls, let's start off with reviewing. Today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to review the letter I. The key word for the letter I is iguana in Spanish. You know, in, in, in English, but in Spanish, it also is the word iguana. And so, letter I, E, E. And let's go ahead and let's look at the rest of them that we've been learning. The letter E, key word, elephant, E, E. The letter T, key word, tomato, T, T. The letter P, key word, piano, P, P. The letter A, key word, animals, A, A. The letter N, key word, nest, N, N. The letter B, key word, bat, B, B. The letter M, key word, mom, m, m. Well, boys and girls, let's go ahead and let's also look at some words that also have that I like an iguana. Like the word in, like the word itch, like the word igloo, and the word ill. Okay, and again, boys and girls, today we're going to explore the theme of art, and we're going to continue, and we're going to look at some antonyms that mean the opposite. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to take this over here. Now let's go over some antonyms. Last week we also saw some antonyms that might be on here that you might recognize, but this week we've gone and we've added some more. Remember, antonyms tell the opposite of each other, like boy and girl, poor and rich, town and city, mother and father, sick healthy, doctor, patient, brother, sister, sun, the opposite of sun is moon, day, and the opposite of day is night, and happy, the opposite of happy is sad. These are some more words that are antonyms that tell you the opposite. Well, boys and girls, we're also going to continue with our story of Diego. And so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to review some words that we've also heard in our story. And then we're going to add a couple of new ones. This, the story, we've already heard the word healer. Healer, again, is the person who can make someone healthy again. The Spanish word being curandera, or some of us may say sanadora. We might see the word hut, the Spanish word being cabaña. It's a small house or building, sometimes made of dry grass and mud. The word twin, the Spanish word being gemelo, one of two children born on the same day to one mother. The word altar. The Spanish word being altar. It's a high table used for religious ceremonies. The word herbs. In Spanish, hierbas. These are plants that can be used as medicine or something that adds flavor to food. The word vapors. The Spanish word being vapores. These are tiny pieces of liquid or solid that float in a gas. The word jungle, in our story, we heard the word bosque. It's land covered with many trees, vines, and bushes. 
the word homecoming, the Spanish word being bienvenida. It's a return to one's home. The word mural, the Spanish word being mural, it's a large picture painted on a wall or a ceiling. And also, the word honor, in Spanish, honor, it's a high public admiration or respect. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some new words today, like the word mask. The Spanish word being mascaras. It's a disguise that covers all or part of the face. Also, the word strike or striking. In Spanish, they say that this word is huelga. It's a demonstration of people who want something changed. Another word is equality. The Spanish word being igualidad, quality of being equal. And wages, salarios, money paid to a person for doing work. Well, boys and girls, we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue with our story. Listen for those words in today's story. But art school was boring to Diego. He didn't want to draw for models. He wanted to paint real life. So he did. Whatever he saw, he painted. He painted people on the day of the dead. This is a day when people think about people they love who have died. So he really likes to draw things that are really happening. He painted people at the fiestas. These are special days when people wear colorful masks and dance through the streets. One day, Diego saw a horrible thing. He saw real soldiers shooting down, striking workers. But he painted that too. It was what he saw. He painted everything. Diego didn't like everything that he saw. That's why he helped the poor people fight their war for equality. They were fighting for fair wages and better life. And Diego loved his people more than anything. Almost. The thing he loved most was painting. That's why he went to Paris, the art center of the world. But in Paris, all he thought about was Mexico. So boys and girls, as we can see, you know, he went to art school as a young boy, but he thought it was really boring because they made him paint certain things, and he wanted to paint everything. And so he, he's growing up as he's going, and so now he's going to Paris. Let's find out what happens tomorrow. All right, boys and girls, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, boys and girls.